Hello and welcome to the episode 345 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A warm crowd in London, John Lennon appearing on the Rolling Stones' Rock and Roll Circus and a world premiere for Ringo are among the highlights of today's episode. Let's start the show with the 11th of December 1961 performance that the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, had at lunchtime at a Cavern Club in Liverpool. One year later, in 1962, the Beatles had acquired their definitive lineup. The business of the day was a return to La Scala Barroom in Runcorn, a small town close to Liverpool. In 1963, instead, the Beatles stopped at the Futurist Theatre in Scarborough for the first time for two concerts for their autumn tour of Great Britain. Another tour of the British Isles in 1965, with the Beatles stopping at the Astoria Cinema in Fisbury Park, London. Apparently, contrary to the usual, the audience was incredibly enthusiastic, to the point of making George Harrison exclaim, it seems like the Beatlemania thing is happening all over again. Usually, the audiences in the South were a bit colder than those in the North of England. Not on this occasion. This is what happens when the audience shows its affection. Everything just gets easier. Of course, you could play cool and do absolutely nothing but sit and listen to these last few episodes. And the gift of your attention would be appreciated, believe me. But if you decided to go the extra mile and visit www.simonmas.com support and do something to help this project grow, it would be really fabulous. Thank you in advance for any help you might want to give me. 1968, as we anticipated yesterday, John Lennon was at the Stonebridge House in London, the film his appearance on the Rolling Stones' Rock and Roll Circus, a TV special meant to promote the Stones' new album, Beggar's Banquet. John was to perform two songs with the Dirty Mac, a made-up band, including him on guitar and vocals, Eric Clapton on guitar, Keith Richards on bass, and Mitch Mitchell on drums. After playing Year Blues live, the band was joined by Yoko Ono on vocals and by Ivory Jitlis on violin for an impromptu jam called Her Blues. Apart from the performance, John was filmed chatting amiably with Mick Jagger, introducing the Dirty Mac. John was also filmed dressed as a juggler, and Ono was filmed dressed as a witch. After the filming of their performance was completed, John and Yoko moved to BBC's Broadcasting House in London to take part in Night Ride, a programme broadcast live on BBC Radio 1 and 2 between 12.05 and 2 a.m. They discussed their Two Virgins album with host John Peel, who also broadcast a 3-minute, 20-second extract from the LP. John talked about some plans about a photo book to accompany the You Are Here exhibition and about the couple's performance at the Rock and Roll Circus. Let's close the episode with two events happened on the 11th of December 1969. It was on this date that Ringo's second film, The Magic Christian, had its world premiere at the Audion Cinema in Kensington. Ringo and Maureen Starr were there, as well as John Lennon and Yoko Ono, Princess Margaret and a host of other celebrities. In Copenhagen, Denmark, instead, George Harrison was again on the stage of the Falconer Theatre with Delaney and Bunny, playing in the duo backup band. Let's adjourn our storytelling about all things Beatles to tomorrow, when we will get more live performances and more interviews. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.